gentlemen, we are ready for bout number two of the evening. It is sponsored by Tranquility Hardscapes. It's in the super atomweight division. It's contested under the rules of Junior's K1 Kickboxing, and it's scheduled for three two-minute rounds. Your first fighter fighting out of the Allure Properties Blue Corner. She weighed in at 111.8 pounds. She has a record of two wins with no losses. She's representing United Karate Studios out of Dalton, Georgia. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Hannah Tucker. You know, that's what I'm excited about just because there's so much history in that karate school. Oh, yeah, to yeah. See, to see these guys out here is great, and um, they, do, they do great things down in Dalton. I mean, she's already out here. She's chomping. She's ready to go. Hannah Tucker, I mean, she is undefeated at the Joe. So you're talking about history. She's got nothing but good memories in this building. Yeah. 2-0. Uh, if you're not familiar with her and this is your first time catching her in the, con uh, in the cage, she will not stop. And it's amazing yes. because we just saw the UFC main event uh, two cards ago. I think they had, what? 30 significant strikes by the time the thing was over. It was a bit of a snooze fest. It was the uh, Carlos right. Farza Rose Nominee. Yes, yes, yes. Yep. There will be nothing like that. Hannah no. Tucker will throw 30, se 30 strikes in the first 10 seconds. Exactly. <laughs> you got that right. And her opponent, fighting out of the Knoxville Mortgage Brokers Red Corner. She weighed in at 110.6 pounds. She has a record of one win with no loss. She's representing Ring Combat at a Withville, Virginia. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Emily Four. There you see on the tail of the tape, somebody's O has got to go. So far here at the Joe, no one has been a match for Hannah Tucker. Emily Four comes in here pretty accredited. She's 2-0 in kickboxing, 1-0 in youth MMA. And this is going to be a banger, guys. It's going to be very active. Josh has rejoined us here at the commentary table. Congratulations. Thanks, sir. Yeah, Brandon fight. gets the W there in the first bout of the night. It's and a good way to start it off. That was Absolutely. impressive win at that, too. That was awesome. Great fight. This is the first ring combat fighter of the night. We will be featuring four of them. Uh, one of the many fighters who made their way down from Whiteville, Virginia. Am I saying that right, Whiteville? Yeah. Uh, you know, Josh is the uh, the mo one with the most history on Virginia. So I yeah, I believe that's how <laughs> they say it. Is it White or with? I believe it's White. Whiteville. And, it w and actually, you ended it's uh, Whiteville. Oh, right, right. Like, yeah. well, okay, okay. It's my uh, nasally northeastern yeah, accent. Yeah, I say Yankee's gotta, coming out. Yeah. Got to tighten that up a little bit. But here she is, Emily Ford. Two unblemished records. That will not be the case when this one ends. I'm told Emily fights the same way, too. It's <laughs> I've heard so, that, too. So yeah. nobody yeah. goes backwards, yep. what are we about to see? <laughs> I think we're going to see two very powerful people battling out in the center of the ring. Uh, that's what I'm hoping for. And we're off. Right at it. Yeah, there's yeah, an immediate. early. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Quickly turned into MMA. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. These young women are ready. Hey. That was the first time I've seen somebody with something for, for Hana. And yeah. I don't think Hana liked it. She's coming in with a vengeance. The ref's got his hands full on this one. Yeah, Tucker definitely comes, comes with the aggression in her fights. I really like. Uh, Emily stands. She's got her gloves together, just a little down, but she's coming out very strong when yeah. she does. We got yeah, great fundamentals for her. Yeah. Coach Ben Piker really has her finely tuned when it comes to the striking. The you ref know. has got to get on his bike here. You know, and I think that what Hannah had, had just realized was something she already knew was the best offense is a strong her song is best defense is a strong offense, and she's coming in very hard and, and doing what she can to put Emily against I'm, the cage. You know, not to take away, Emily's got a good right hand. She does. And, and she's looking yes. to make them count there, and when, when Hannah's throwing those flurries, she's sneaking that right hand in over, over the top. I tell you, though, it's tough to win a decision landed one shot I like know, that, I know. even if it's the better shot. Sure. Well, and, and Hannah's not going to slow down. No. <laughs> and 
Like, this is a warm-up for her. She just gets better and better as the fight goes. Yeah, these girls are going through the fences with Hannah giving the best of her. I think, though, they probably did score a takedown for Emily, so I'm not sure the nuance the nuances of the judging, but this will be interesting to see. But Hannah taking over. She is. Body, body, head. Emily's going to want to want to make something happen here. Yeah, Emily's got to get her off Ten of her. Seconds left. Emily's got to get her off of her. Hannah is just nonstop with just those perpetual combos. punches. Yes. Wow. Man, she just mauls you. Uh, Hannah Tucker just mauls her opponent. There was not a second of that wow. fight that a punch was not being thrown. I, know. I think they deserve a little bigger round of applause than that, guys. Emily's undefeated, or excuse me, Emily is undefeated too. She's gonna have to dig deep. Let's take a look at these highlights. So what do you see? You know, as I said, Emily coming down with these kind of hands down stance, it's, it worked out immediately, but now Hannah kind of sees that. And I, it was kind of a, I'm not sure if that was quite a trip or what we saw there. Those follow up shots were pretty yes. questionable yes. too. <laughs> yes. In the heat of the moment, hard to stop pulling the trigger. <laughs> right. <laughs> little overkill there after the knockdown from Emily. Who would you give that first round to? You know, it's got to be Hannah just based off of the the domination we saw near the end of the round. But Emily started good. She's got to kind of recapture that. It's yeah. just so hard. It's like uh, once the boulder starts rolling downhill, that is Hannah Tucker. Hannah right. Tucker, excuse me. How do you stop that? And round two is underway. Emily's changing her stance a little bit. She's got her gloves a little higher, throwing out that tee for distance. Yeah, that's good for distance management. Oh. That's a good jab. Oh, that's great. Yeah? Oh, okay. wow. Well, when Hannah bull rushes in like that, she is susceptible to walking into something. Yeah, and Emily has a great job at kind of uh, seeing that coming. It's the second time she's been able to do that. Nice knee to the body right there, okay. Emily's got some tools here. Emily's doing great on circling out of the cage as well. First time we're seeing Tucker actually back up a little bit. Uh huh. Right. Right. Got to get off of the cage here, though, because Hannah hits you with so much. Exactly right. And that last one did some damage, but Emily's coming back swinging hard. Yeah, Emily's got a good right. Kind of coming in hard with that, that kind of. Yeah, it starts with the left command. and then everything builds off of that. It's yeah. great. One minute left in the second round. Action's kind of slowed just a little bit. I mean, that was bound to happen after that pace in the first. <laughs> yeah, you got that right. Now it turns into a little bit more reactive, but. Oh, oh, good man. feints there twice from Hannah, and then she finally threw it and it landed. Ooh, heavy right there from Emily lands. Hannah is no joke, but Emily is tough. Jeez. Emily doing a real good job at catcher on the way in, but it's land one to eat ten. Yes. That's the problem. Yep, that yep. is the problem. Ooh. Emily found a home for that right again, but exactly. Hannah just pushes through it. She'll eat it. We've actually seen her get hit, but it's just the volume. And opponents, Hana, opponents struggle with the volume. Hana is incredibly accurate with her volume as well. I know. But you don't see those two together, especially in this this style bout. Wow. Way to go, ladies. They are going to treat you to a third and final round. Crowd showing their appreciation for what have been two very active rounds. And here's the replays from round two. A little more of a feeling out process in the first round, but here comes Hanna just barreling in again, throwing those punches, not giving her any time to breathe. There was a good right hand by Emily. I though, know, I know, team. yeah. Normally, you would just focus on how dominant Hanna's been just based on how many strikes she's landed. Yeah. Emily's had her moments. She has, yeah. Cut man Mark tending to some of... Uh, the damage that Emily sustained. I don't think it's a serious cut, but it's bound to happen with as many punches have landed.
Hey, Wyatt, this is what we're going to start to see from the team in Virginia. Yeah, it's a great start. Great start. I don't think you come all this way to, to not give it all you got. You got it. You got it. This is a match. Anna's coming out, meeting her in the center of the ring again. Yep. Showing the feints. She gets a running head start into that right hand, does Hannah Tucker. Emily's still doing a great job of staying off of her heels, but Hana has her against the cage, and she is going to the upper and side. Those combos she's throwing are, are landing, and they are strong. Emily's taking some control good in the clinch there. Emily. Good knees yeah. for Emily. Yeah, some good knees there. Hana has her against the cage. She's just throwing it with upper the same uppercut to the left. Uppercut to the exactly left, right. yeah, she's yeah. spamming the combos. Hana is really great at seeing what's working for and seeing what isn't, making those small adjustments in their game as these rounds go on. Oh, big right hand. Emily's corner calling for the knee. Hannah does dip that head a little bit when she's kind of uh, rushing in, so that would be something. Find a home for a knee. Ooh, good, big good, jab. good jab. And Hunter is against the kitchen cage again. See if she's running through that same combo. The right and the uppercut there. Emily's still doing a good job on coming forward. Knee, knee, right in the center. Oh, hey. wow. Emily landed Emily two pretty good shots. Great shots. The onslaught that Hannah. Hannah Tucker Hannah going to the thinking. body, backs yes. her up to the cage, and that's where her bread is buttered, you know? She really, yeah. she really makes the fight look like it's her fight no matter what with that. And it pretty much has been until this point. Emily's had some bright moments, but yeah. this is just the dominance we've come to expect from Hannah Tucker in these kickboxing bouts. Oh, those uppercuts. It's a hard one to go against this volume and accuracy that Hannah has. To the uppercuts to the body, she doesn't, she doesn't stop for a second. It's just great to see. Exactly right. <laughs> Excellent fight, fight ladies. Yeah, great, awesome. fight. great effort. Great fight. My daughter is at home playing with Powerpuff Girls. These girls are real life Powerpuff Girls. Great action by both girls. Though. Yeah, just awesome energy, awesome effort. Uh, we're gonna take a quick look at the action that was in the third round. Right there, you see Hannah coming in with that. Yeah, that was a bright moment for Emily. Yeah, uh, yeah stalled her with the jab, then landed two overhand rights, but found herself up against the cage, and that's where I am Miss Tucker went to work. I'm impressed with both of these women. This is a great game. Yeah, great I would match. love to see uh, both of these girls fight again. Yep. If I had to guess, I would say Hannah Tucker's unbeaten streak at the Joe continues. Yep. It's going to take something special to beat her in this building, too. Any building, for that matter, but this building seems like it's home base. Yep. She's not even old enough to get in here on the regular. <laughs> That's a great point, too. <laughs> Maybe an honorary early pass or something. I don't know how that works. All right, Cotton Eye Joe, one more time for both these ladies. <laughs> Guaranteed action every time these young ladies step in the cage. Our second junior's bout of the night did not disappoint, and we go now to Jeff Hobbs for the official decision. All right, Cotton Eye Joe, we went to a judge's scorecard, and here's how your judges saw this bout. All three judges, it's all about the same, 30-27 for your winner by unanimous decision. Out of the blue corner, Hannah Tucker.